<coughs> Capital Outlay Meeting for to July 13th. Call to order. Roll call, Ms. Jenkins. Ms. Richards. Present. Mr. Toller. Present. Ms. Abrams. Here. Mr. Westmoreland. Present. Mr. Duncan. Here. Mr. Bush. Here. Mr. Moore. Here. Ms. Simmons. Here. Ms. Dominguez. Present. Thank you. Item 1A, consider approval of a low bid to construct eight classroom addition at Ponchatoula High School. Mr. Snodbot. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is our first phase one project that has gotten this far. We've opened bids. The low bid was from C.M. Combs Construction, LLC, in the amount of $2,087,000. The construction budget was $2,500,000. $678, so we're $413,000 under budget, 16% less than we anticipated. Please don't tell them that. Yeah, because the plywood cost and everything else is up. <laughs> All right, we hear that formal I'll motion. make a motion to accept the, the recommendation of CM Combs Construction. We have that formal Second. motion. Second by Ms. Simmons. Discussion. Uh, where are these people from, please? That was my They're from question. Mandeville. Uh, they've worked with our architectural firm. They come highly recommended. Other questions? I'm very happy to see that these bids are fairly competitive, equal. There's a few that are kind of on the high end. But for the most part, it looked like they all fell pretty close to each other. Which was exciting as we had 15 competitive bids. Very good. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Duncan? So any particular reason why Ponchatoula gets to go first? Is it, I mean, I, I don't. Because we have <laughs> no, 500,000 students. To, um, I mean, what's the administration? It just to be the project that was ready for a bid. Oh, okay. It's totally. a simple extension of an existing classroom wing, so it's not a lot of design work involved. So the architects were able to put together the bid package quickly. No, I'm, I'm happy for them, and it's definitely needed, and I'm glad we got a good price. Where's it going to be located? Which end? The east end? It's going to be near the gym. It's going to be on the east side of the campus. East side. We're going to extend the, what wing is that, Mr. Cabell? Oh, the, the uh, 300 wing. The 300 wing. We'll finish it off. We'll finish it off and bring it to the gym itself. Okay. We'll help actually secure the interior because we'll put up some, uh, some fencing that will keep people off the interior of the campus. Okay. Other questions? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. Yes for me. Voting is open. Yes, Mr. Toller. Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you, item 1B. Consider approval of the low quote to install a canopy at Just Pro Elementary School Special Education Building to the main building by North Shore Gutters for the amount of $21,000. Mr. Snodderbot. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Again, we, we get, took quotes for a uh, canopy at Chesbro Elementary. The low quote was from North Shore Gutters in the amount of $21,000. We're asking the board to consider approving this low quote. Do we hear that in form of a motion? Motion to adopt. I'll second that. Motion made, second by Mr. Bush. Any discussion? I would like to notice the Ponchatoula's getting buildings and we're getting canopies, but that's beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't go I without saying that. I know, All get, right. I know you get a small loan. That'll hurry up for next week. Nobody's going to take it away. Well. <laughs> Any other discussions? All right, call for vote. We bought you a church, brother. I don't know if you know. Voting is open. <laughs> I need it, too. <laughs> Dinner on the ground, we can raise money. Yeah, I bought you a church. Call for vote? Yes, it's a motion. It's open. Voting's open. Voting's open, yes. Yes, Mr. Toller. Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Item C, consider approval to offer to purchase. 40.12 acres of land located on Highway 1062, just north of the Laurentia High School baseball field for a total of 622916 and 50 cents. Mr. Snodderbaugh. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The uh, administration became aware of the 40-acre plot that you see on the screen up there that became available for sale. Um, we felt that it was uh, important to go ahead and try to purchase this for possible future 
growth in the Laranja area. We had the property appraised. The 40-acre appraisal came in at $562,000. Um, there was trees on the property, as you can see from the picture, that has appraised for $60,916.50. The owners of the property would like to have a, uh, an offer uh, from our district, uh, from the school system. So we're asking the administration to approve providing an offer to purchase the land at the appraised value total of $622,916.50. All right, let me get that in form of a motion. So we I'll can make that motion. And I will second it. <laughs> motion made by Ms. Simmons and seconded. So, discussion. Let me just say, we had a, a meeting with the council. Um, with this property along comes the Tangebo Parish Library um, wants to build a Laranja branch on this property as well. So we will have a, um, later on down the line, when we do build out there, it will have a library situated on the property as well. This was not the original piece of property we were talking about, but this happened to fall in our lap when we were looking at another piece of property. This is not going through any um, kind of realtor. This is strictly dealing with the family and they are willing to do this for what it prays for. So this is the only track of property in Laranger that's this big that is adjacent to our school. So with the new athletic uh, facility that we're building, we'll be able to utilize that in even if we build later on down the line, it still can be utilized, the football field and the uh, field house. So it, it makes a lot of sense for us to buy this property, um, to partner up with the uh, Changebo Parish Library. And um, uh, we wanna just say thank you to the council for bringing it to our attention, because if it wouldn't have been for them, we wouldn't have even known about this piece of property. Mm -hmm. If I could add, this, there's no wetlands on this property. And <coughs> if you look across the street, our 10 acres related with the rotary pro rodeo property is uh, across the highway from this property. And it actually adjoins the baseball field on the south. How much can we sell two acres to Mr. Joseph back there yeah. far from the library? <laughs> I was we thinking can a little close to $250,000. <laughs> I mean, I mean the appraisal just went up, <laughs> didn't it, Mr. James? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did they have any comments that they wanted? Would y'all like to say anything in, in reference to this, They're Mr. Here. Parlow? Come, come to the mic. I'm sorry. I'm not used to being on this side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Carlo Bruno, Tanchebo Parish Councilman for that area of uh, Laranja. Uh, he couldn't be with us tonight, but John and Graffy is the one that actually contacted the family on this piece of property and was able to make the contact and get Brett and the school board in uh, touch with them. Uh, just a little to show you how things go around. About 20 years ago, this family approached me about trying to get the school board to buy that piece of land. And it was the mother of these siblings that wanted to do it before she passed away. And at the time, I, I went to the school board and they, they were real cold on the idea of doing it. And I know it was probably a different time and money was short, but uh, it's just amazing how after 20 years it's come back around and kind of fell in our laps. But this is a big step in Laranja. Uh, we have uh, the Kentwood branch of the library that's being built now. Laranja is the next branch on the list to be built. Uh, and by building the branch on this piece of property, if whenever y'all do decide to build a school, the library will be able to furnish the books and stuff for the school because the library will be situated on that same piece of property. So it's going to be a win-win for everybody. And, uh, you know, I'm a graduate of there. My kids are. I've got grandkids there. And the growth that we're seeing out there is starting to surpass Punch Tula per capita. So it's not going to be long. Y'all going to be facing way more than what you got because it's coming every day. More subdivisions are coming. More people are coming. And, you know, hopefully this will be the first step in it. But I just want to thank y'all. I want to thank Robin and uh, everybody that was in in uh willing to sit down and and work with this and i hope it comes out because i think it's going to be a giant step for that area thank y'all very much thank you Mr. thank Burnett. you thank you any other questions questions mr. 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 Schneiderbach, just remind us is 
where the money's coming from for this This would purchase. come from the Paris-wide capital project fund. Um, if you recall, when we talked about the revised budget, we added $3.8 <coughs> million dollars to that fund tonight. Um, so they would come out of those funds. So that's going to come out of the extra sales tax dollars that were collected extra last year. Extra sales tax and extra uh, um, indirect costs from our ESSER funds. Great. Let's make it clear, the sales tax from last year, not the half penny sales tax for the raises. Right. That has nothing to second do with that. Tax penny, not the newly paid. Right. That's absolutely correct. The second sales tax penny. Mr. Bush, do we have any plans on cutting the trees immediately or we're just going no, to wait? Sir. I do have, um, I'm glad you mentioned that, Mr. Bush. I talked to Royce Allen, who's, uh, who manages our tree, tree trimming property. Um, He's out of town in Alabama right now, but when he gets back in town, he is going to review the appraisal of the, the tree, the six, $60,916, to give me assurance that that's a good, solid appraisal. And I should have that before the board ratifies this committee meeting. Ms. Simmons? I've been waiting 20 years for this. <laughs> and finally, we find this property. I'm, I'm just, that's the hand of God on this whole situation. And don't we have about 30 portables? 20 something? 36, 36, I believe. So we can Modular replace the portable. Yeah. Yeah. This ain't gonna get. <laughs> Let me have my say, Bush. <laughs> All right. Any other this questions? This is only property, Sandra. <laughs> this is only property, not buildings. It doesn't matter. This is a big start. We're moving to portable. Then. Yep. <laughs> Any other questions? Here you know, I'll call for questions. Call for vote. Mr. Bruno, have we worked out that hunting lease for me for the next 20 years yet? Am I doing the library board? Oh, that's the only problem you face in the ride to keep in the hunter's office. <laughs> I think I just signed the, that's what we're voting on now, right, Mr. Snow? I get the hunting leases for 20 voting years. Voting is open. Voting is open. Yes. Voting is closed. Motion passes unanimously. And, and Mr. Right. Bruno, thank you for keeping me updated. You called me three or four times on this project during the phases, and I, I really appreciate that. Hey, thank all of y'all. Working together as a council. And you don't know how excited you have just made the people in the ride over the purchase of this piece of property. So uh, it's a giant step. Like Ms. Bailey said, we've all been waiting on this a long time. We know it's going to take time, but at least we know we've got the ground and work to do it. So thank all y'all. It's, uh, it's, it's really big. And a special thank you to John and Graffia because yeah, he, he made that contact. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Any other, anybody have anything else for, for Capital Outlay? Hearing nothing, we're meeting adjourned. Mr. Joseph. Mr.